This is a video that shows you how to create and use eBay shipping profiles. So a shipping profile is used when you're creating new eBay listings from Brightpearl products. When first of all you choose the Brightpearl products you want to list on eBay, then you select a listing profile and a shipping profile to create a draft listing, and then finally you publish the listing to eBay. You only need to create a few shipping profiles because one shipping profile can be used on multiple eBay listings as long as those listings for products that are of generally similar size and weight. We've got a product here, the Overboard Waterproof Backpack, that we want to list on eBay. We already have a couple of shipping profiles. I'll select these, add to eBay, and you can see we've got small items and standard carrier that we set up previously. But what I want to do now is create a new shipping profile for heavy goods. So shipping profiles are created in the Channels menu. Next to eBay, click Settings then click Shipping Profiles, where we can see the two that we already have, and click the green button to add a new shipping profile. First thing you need to choose is the country that this product is going to be listed on, and that's our UK store. And then you can see we've got a number of different options here. First of all, select the handling time, and then you can add domestic shipping methods and international shipping methods. So this is a heavy goods shipping profile and let's say that we're only going to have carriers. So let's say other 24-hour carrier. By default, the free postage and packing or shipping and handling in the US is ticked. So let's untick that so that we can edit the cost. And because this is heavy goods, we're going to make it 10 pounds shipping. And then every subsequent item comes in at five. That's the only domestic shipping method we're going to allow for this. And let's say we also want to support international shipping methods just for France. So we add a shipping method there, and the cost for France is going to be 25. And then we can either choose to only select France here, and there it is, or we can exclude options from here. And then finally, all we need to do is give it a name and save. Now let's create an eBay listing for these waterproof backpacks. We'll select the two we want to list, click Add or Remove from Channels, Add to eBay Channel, choose our listing profile, and Backpacks is one we created earlier, and then the shipping profile we've just created now, Heavy Goods. This takes us to the Draft Listing screen, where we could either publish directly from here, and that would put it directly onto eBay, or we can go into the listing to edit the details. So the information from the shipping profile has been brought through onto the Shipping and Returns tab. So we can see the other carrier for £10 and the standard postage for £25. We can change it for this particular listing, which won't affect the shipping profile itself, which means that next time we use the profile, it'll be the standard values as we set in that profile. When we're happy that everything is as we want it, we just click Publish. So you only need to create a few shipping profiles because the information from the profile will be copied into the listing every time you create a new listing. And changes to a shipping profile will not update existing draft or published listings. So if you want to make changes to an existing listing, do it on the listing itself. And that's the end of the video that shows you how to create and use eBay shipping profiles.